YouTube. It's your boy Yanni back at you with another video. Before we get to the video, guys, I want to tell you guys thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for tuning in and showing your boy some support. It means the world to me. Today we're going to be doing a mid ball fade. If you guys stay tuned through the whole video, hopefully you'll gain something from it. And hopefully I helped you guys out a little bit. That's the goal here is to learn and to share with each other our ways of doing fades or doing different types of haircuts because my way might not be your way and your way might not be my way but maybe I can gain something from you and maybe you guys can gain something from me don't forget to subscribe hit like comment share show your boy some love now let's get to it hey. So the first step that we're going to do is we're going to come in with our clipper all the way closed with the one guard. In this case, I'm using my wall premium one guard all the way closed on the gamma ergos and I'm coming with the grain and this is just to debulk the hair and give you a clean canvas in order for you to work with and also helps you identify all of the imperfections in the hair such as calyx and things like that so always start off by debulking the hair that way it gives you a better canvas a clean canvas in order for you to work with so that's why I'm coming in with the one guard all the way closed with the grain to debulk the hair and bring it down to that desired length that I'm looking for so that being a one guard closed with the grain that's pretty much like a 1.5 and as you guys can see now it's all debulked next we're going to come in with our trimmers in this case I'm using the Babolix Silver FX and I'm coming in and setting in that initial guideline therefore it being the bald guideline and I'm going to follow that guideline all the way around the head till it meets the identical spot on the other side. And that's going to set us up to start this fade. Try to keep this line as clean as possible since this is the line that you will be following for the rest of the fade. Once you have your line in, then you're going to come back behind that and debulk all the hair underneath. 
I know, the detachable clipper guys are gonna kill me. Why are you using your trimmers to debulk the hair? I don't know, it's just how I like to use it. Sometimes I will use the 5-0 to debulk, but it doesn't get as close as the trimmers does. So that's why I like to use the trimmers to debulk the hair as you see here. All right guys, next we're gonna come in with our clipper, no guard, all the way open. We're gonna set in that initial guideline about half of an inch from the first guideline being the ball guideline. And we're gonna follow this all the way around the head, trying to keep it consistent and even as possible all the way throughout the head. That way it keeps our fade consistent as well. So follow that all the way from the side to the back to the other side until that guideline is set in all the way. And I set this guideline in about a half of an inch. It all depends on preference on what you're trying to do, how much space you're trying to give yourself for the fade, whether it's going to be more of a compressed fade or more of an open fade. So this is like, I would say kind of like regular size guidelines for a fade. Once that guideline is set in, I'm gonna come in with my one guard and it is closed. I'm coming in with the one guard closed. I'm setting in my next guideline and I'm setting this guideline in a little bit bigger than what I did on the last guideline. And the reason for that is to give myself more space to fade with and more space for the fade to breathe. So that's why I'm coming in about three fourths of an inch right here instead of the half of an inch that I did on the last guideline. And that's just to, like I said, give the fade room to breathe. Once you set your guidelines in, you're gonna come back behind that with your clipper all the way closed, and you're gonna attack that bottom line. You're gonna attack that bottom line, start under the, not the line, Excuse me, start under the line and flick to the line. Yeah, it looks like you're creating another guideline, but that's fine. It's going to blend out. And you're going to come in with the clipper halfway and blend up another halfway above where it says you see there. Once you came halfway with the clipper halfway on the guideline, after you come in halfway, then that's when you're gonna come in with the clipper either all the way open or three fourths of the way all the way open. It all depends on the hair and how it's fading. But usually I come either three fourths of the way or all the way open in order to take out that initial guideline. And the reason that I'm fading each side first is for the sake of the video because usually I just fade all the way around. Alright guys, here I'm coming in with the half guard and that is all the way closed. We're going to follow the same steps that we followed on the last guideline. We're going to come in with the clipper all the way closed. Then we're going to come in with the clipper halfway, then all the way open. And guys, as you seen earlier in the video, I did post another haircut and that's just to show you guys that we do haircuts that aren't always fades and tapers. That's what I call an everyday barbershop haircut. It doesn't always have to be a fade or a, a immaculate taper. Sometimes people just want to come in and have a regular haircut. And I just wanted to show you guys that. Once that line is blended out, the rest of the length on top, I'm gonna come in with the one and a half guard closed. So that's a one and a half. Or if you want, you can use the one guard open. It's pretty much the same. The one guard open kind of cuts a little bit more or less. I wouldn't say, i say it's kind of the same. So as you see here, I'm coming in with the one guard this time and it's all the way closed. And then I'm going to move up. I'm going to move up into the fade and 
follow the same steps as I did before. One guard closed, one guard halfway, then one guard all the way open until that guy line is blended in all the way. And that's pretty much it. Those are pretty much the same steps that you're going to follow for the back and the, side, the other side. And as you can see here, I'm doing a little bit of detail work as I go. I will come back later and do a little bit more detail work for whatever dark spots are there or any imperfections that I see in the fade. But I try not to spend too much time doing detail because either way I'm going to come back and do detail work later. So try not to spend too much of your time doing the detail work. As you can see I'm using the corners of the blade and then I'll switch to the whole blade depending on which area of the fade I'm in. And here guys, I'm going to just speed it up a little bit and show you the back, how it all comes together when you follow those steps and you guys can see it come to life. Yeah, back to the topic earlier. So many YouTube barbers just like to show those perfect haircuts, you know? And those perfect haircuts with the perfect texture it just isn't real. You'll have those clients that have those rough looking haircuts that, that, that aren't going to be Instagram quality every time. But it's our job as barbers to give them the best haircut that they can possibly have. Alright guys, here we're going to follow the same steps in fading. We're going to come in with the no guard all the way closed. Flick to the line then we're gonna come halfway flick to that line and we're gonna come all the way or three-fourths of the way depending on how the hair is fading until this line is blended out once this line is blended out then we're gonna come in behind that with our one and a half guard and our one and a half guard as you see here we're gonna do the same steps come in with the guard all the way closed come in with the guard halfway closed and then we're going to come in with the guard all the way open since we set in that guideline to a number one closed a half guard open is going to equal that number one that we set in and then i'm going to come in behind that and use my one guard and that's all the way open like i told you before you can use the one and a half guard close or the one guard open to equal out the 1.5 but trial and error showed me on the other side that it's best to just come in with the one guard open as you see here and usually here I do fade up the same way as I did the other guidelines but for some reason on this side I faded down so I came with the guard all the way open then halfway open then all the way closed and I did see a little dark spot at the bottom line tried to take it out it, the clipper wouldn't take it out so I came back behind it with the trimmer and took it out sometimes you're gonna have to use the trimmer because whatever you set the guideline in with is the same way you take it out unless certain clippers when there's zero gap will take that line out and that's pretty much it for the fade the next part that we're going to do is we're going to prepare his front taper or whatever you want to call it. I call it the front taper because he does get it disconnected from the rest of his hair. And I'm going to prep myself for the lineup by coming in with the clipper, one guard, all the way closed. And I'm coming with the grain of the hair and preparing myself for the lineup. Once the hair is all the way knock down to the desired length I'm gonna come behind it and apply spritz to hold the hair in place also I'm gonna use the blow dryer to make the spritz lock into place and now as you see I'm coming in with my stylecraft gamma evos and I'm gonna start 
at the middle of the hairline and work my way to the corner. I didn't go across the other side because I didn't want to have my body cover the camera that way you guys can see. So later on I'll come back and do the other side. But on this instant, I just came from the middle, worked my way to the corner, and then I'm gonna do the vertical bar next. And when you're doing the vertical bar, try to keep it as natural as possible. Try not to push the vertical bar too far back because there is a such thing as pushing back the vertical bar. And when their hair grows back, it's just not a pretty sight at all and guys as you can see with the sideburns i did leave some of the hair on the sideburns but i'm gonna come back with my clipper and kind of blend out the top of the sideburn into the fade that way we can give the point on the sideburns a nice transition into the fade and still keep it dark detail work all right guys now here is the other side like i told you before i did it this way for the sake of the video that way you guys can see what i'm doing so i'm coming in from the middle where i started the other side and i'm going to work my way to the corner and meet the corner with the vertical bar then work the point and then the C cup, the same way that I did the other side. And everyone has their own preference and style when doing the lineup. This is the way that I do it. I start at the middle, work my way to the corners, then I do the vertical bars, and then I worry about the sideburns and the C cup. Other barbers prefer to either do the C cup first or do the vertical bar first to set themselves up to do the hairline but this is just the way that I do it and just like on the other side I'm gonna blend that sideburn into the fade to give it an even better transition and you see me doing detail work as I go all right guys now we're gonna use 245 no drip shout out to 245 Chris Bazio the gang over there best enhancement in the game we're gonna come in with our compressor and we're gonna spray enhancement I'd say about three to four maybe five inches off of the hair try not to apply too much that way it doesn't look unnatural you want it to look as natural as possible and we are not concealing any mistakes as you guys can see the lineup was already on point everything was already looking good where it needed to be this is just more to enhance the cut as next we're gonna come in with the barber magic pencil shout out to get beamed for this he's known for this shout out to get beamed once again the 245 family for this technique we're gonna come in with the barber pencil conceal it with the trimmers then hit it with the razor and that'll give us another level of gradients in the haircut in the lineup it's just gonna enhance this cut and bring it to the next level all right guys now we're gonna do my favorite part of the haircut which is that razor work once you do this razor work is what really brings this haircut all the way and don't forget to stretch that skin tilt that razor 45 degree angle and cut to the line. Here I'm doing the hairline, also the vertical bar and the C cup, everything that I did with the magic pencil or everything that I did with my trimmers to do the lineup, I'm gonna come behind that with the razor. Stretching that skin as you see attacking that line stretching attack as I go I stretch and I cut and that's how you bring this whole haircut together with the razor 
I love the razor. Look how it just makes it look so official. My favorite part, hands down, of the haircut. Here I'm just gonna do a little bit more detail work, and that's pretty much it, y'all. The haircut is all the way done. Tell me what you guys think. There it is, guys. There's the final product. Hope you guys didn't like the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hope you like the haircut. There it is. Yanni signing out.